With all the changes with web browsers this past year, including the newly updated Microsoft Edge, many of you have asked that we update this video. Instead of just going with our picks this year, we also polled friends in and outside of the tech industry to find out their favorites and why. With the votes having been tallied, we'll now count down the top five best web browsers for Windows, Mac, and Linux, going over the pros and cons of each. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is the open source Brave web browser. Built using Chromium, it's a favorite for many privacy and security enthusiasts with a high emphasis on performance. They claim it's three times faster than Chrome. By default, Brave blocks ads and trackers on all websites. While this is great for you as the end user to load web pages faster, it does eliminate the financial incentive that websites depend on to make money. This is where their pay to surf business model comes in, which they call Brave Rewards. In short, when you view alternative ads that Brave has placed on web pages, users earn basic attention tokens known as BATS that can be divided up to the publishers of the sites you visit. While some see this as a positive, many view this negatively as a Rob Peter to pay Paul scheme to generate more revenue for Brave. When you launch Brave, you'll notice it has a nice looking interface. Its homepage dashboard will show you the trackers and ads blocked, the bandwidth saved, and the time saved blocking ads and trackers. Below that are the top sites you visited in the past. In the upper right corner is a clock. And in the lower right, you'll find icons to view your browsing history, manage bookmarks and preferences, and you can even customize what appears on your dashboard. To find out how many ads and trackers have been blocked, click the Brave Shield to the right of the address bar. If you ever encounter websites that don't load properly with this enabled, toggle the switch off and that should fix your problem. In the number four spot, Vivaldi, as many of you know, is my personal favorite. It was co-founded in 2016 by one of the co-founders of the Opera browser back when it was good, prior to the takeover by a group of Chinese investors. Vivaldi is great for customization with unique features not found in any other browser. Some of those features include protection from trackers, an ad blocker, and end-to-end -end encryption to secure your data. In addition to the tab stacking and tiling features I've shown you in the past, you can also display your tabs side-by-side -side within the browser window. And far ahead of most other browsers, Vivaldi allows you to switch between light and dark modes based on the theme you have set for your operating system. When you launch it, you'll see the speed dial with your favorite sites. Along the left are your bookmarks, downloads, and a tab for notes. The sidebar is another place to quickly access the websites you visit often. You can drag this out if you want to make the window bigger. In the lower right, there's a handy screenshot tool to capture a full page or selected region. Just like most other Chromium-based browsers, extensions can be installed directly from the Chrome Web Store. A fun new addition to the browser is an 80s-style arcade game called Vivaldia. It can be played both online and offline. To play it, go to the start page, select the game icon in the lower right, and click to play. The keys needed to play will appear once the game has loaded. Coming in at number three is Microsoft Edge. Really? That was my thought when adding up the votes. Must be because it's being forced onto Windows computers without the user's consent, and because it's there, people are using it. The second iteration of Edge is Chromium-based, we like to call it Credge. It's not a terrible browser. It's actually quite fast and does have some useful features, including this new shopping feature that can help to save you money. It's also not a resource hog like some of the others on this list with privacy and security tools that will help to protect your data online. On their start page at the top is the Bing search bar with quick links to your favorite sites. And filling up most of the page is their news feed. If you want to change the news or topics that you see when you open the start page, Click on Personalize in the upper right. On this page, it'll let you configure the topics of interest for you that appear in the newsfeed. Read Aloud is another feature that people like. To use it, place your cursor at the beginning of the section you'd like to have read, right click, and select Read Aloud. Rocky Mountain Oysters or Mountain Oysters, one, or Meatballs, also known as Prairie Oysters in Canada, French, Animals, is a dish made of bull testicles. You can pause or play here on the read aloud bar, and to the right is the voice options, which lets you change the speed and the voice used when using read aloud. 
In a shocking move, in addition to Windows and Mac OS, Microsoft Edge is also available for Linux. I thought this would only happen when pigs fly or hell is frozen over. Before we get to the top two web browsers, here are some others receiving votes that might be worth your time to check out. The open source Tor browser, which is a modified version of Firefox, works to keep your internet activity anonymous through a network consisting of more than 7,000 relays. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. The Opera browser used to be more popular than it is now, with features that were seen as cutting edge, like its free built-in VPN, which sounds great, but in reality isn't that good. Some people are also put off because it's Chinese owned, but if you want to use it, Opera is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. They also have their so-called gaming browser, Opera GX, with features specifically made for gamers. It's only available for Windows and Mac. For Apple platforms only, there's the default choice of Safari with iCloud support and optimizations for Mac OS. Here's one that most people have never heard of. Epic Browser for Windows and Mac only is another one to consider if you're concerned about privacy and security. By default, there is no tracking of any kind and it blocks ads, fingerprinting, and crypto mining. In addition, they claim to never collect, sell, or share any of its users' data. Let's head back to the countdown. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Mozilla Firefox. It's open source, been around since 2002, and it's truly the absolute best browser not based on Chromium. Firefox is feature-packed with a picture-in-picture -picture mode, a built-in screen capture tool, and reader mode. It's also highly customizable with themes to change the look, extensions to enhance your experience, and a dark mode to give your eyes a break. Let's go over a couple of those cool features. To use their awesome screenshot tool, to the right of the address bar, select the three dot icon and take a screenshot. Your choices are save visible or save a full page. Or you could left click and drag to select a region and then let go. You have the choice to copy it to your clipboard or download it to your computer. The other feature worth pointing out is the reader mode. Look for the icon to the right of the address bar and select it to toggle it on. You'll notice a cleaner look with all the images and ads removed. Over here on the left, you can change the font style, size, and switch to a dark mode. Below that, you'll also find a read aloud mode, similar to Microsoft Edge, that lets you change the speed and voice. In the top spot, coming in at number one, the top vote getter is Google Chrome. Why do people like it? It surely can't be that it's great for privacy and it's not a resource hog. Actually, it's the opposite. For privacy, it's terrible with how they use your data, and it's one of the worst for battery life with laptops. Quite simply, people use it because it's easy to use, with no fuss, and offers excellent cross-platform support, allowing you to sync your bookmarks, passwords, and other stuff across multiple devices. The user interface is visually pleasant, with rounded corners, and with Windows and Mac OS, it plays nice using either the light or dark mode that you have set for your operating system. But perhaps one of the biggest reasons why people use Chrome is because they have the largest amount of extensions available to enhance your browser experience. If that's the case for you, why you use Chrome, I'd suggest using one of the other Chromium-based browsers mentioned, like Brave, Microsoft Edge, or Vivaldi, which all offer support for extensions from the Chrome Web Store. Thank you for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What web browser is your favorite and why? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.